Hello and welcome to Springboard, your virtual university and your Easter Sunday edition. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. My name is Albert Okran, welcoming you on behalf of the Virtual Academic Board, chaired by Comfort with support of the entire crew. Springboard is brought to you by the Springboard Russia Foundation in partnership with the Multimedia Group and proudly sponsored by MTN, MTN Pulse, Just B, UMB Bank, UMB Speed Up, Digi Bank, Let's Go, the Enterprise Group, Enterprise Your Advantage, with support from My Joy Online and the Graphic Communications Group. Today, we bring you a very special edition of Springboard. For some time now, we've been running our series on the changing world of work. We've done six different parts, and if you've missed any of them, just check them out on Facebook or on my YouTube channel, and while you are there, make time to subscribe. We're having the very first virtual edition this Thursday. We are launching it right here with our partners as we trust God for a massive experience on Thursday. Can I say welcoming? Yeah. Introducing the Executive Director of the Springboard Racial Foundation, Comfort Okran, to help us understand where we are and where we are going with the Springboard Racial Comfort. How does it feel to be talking about <laughs> springboard again last year we had for the first time a strange experience of not having springboard how does it feel today it feels interesting i mean interesting because uh, last year we started with vim and we had to digitize ourselves halfway through the experience from from a physical to a digital experience and we went on 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 the various radio stations we now looking at a potentially all digital experience so it is definitely is a sign of the times that we are living in and it makes especially we having the opportunity to launch on Easter Sunday well we are rising again <laughs> talking about that actually last year we did have springboard we had yes. the first two editions in, That's why I said in we had a physical... and Cape Coast yes and then the we digitized. finale which was a one-day program became a three-month program exactly in the end many more people benefited. Exactly. And what was meant to be, um, should you say, adversity, rather became a triumph for the roadshow. Let's use it right, the springboard wow. for the roadshow. <laughs> Tell us about the virtual springboard. Is it one event? What, what are we looking for this year? Because um, of um, our protocols, we want to ensure that everybody is able to come into the experience. And therefore, we have planning four digital experiences that would be in april june september and november now what we're doing is that we want everyone who has been on springboard before everyone who maybe has never even come to a springboard event before and anybody that we, i mean who you think that the people will be bringing on board as well as the information as well as the experience is one that you cannot miss this is an experience that we want everybody to take part in on Thursday. So coming Thursday, the 8th of April, digitally, we are inviting you to join us with your mobile devices or your, your whether it is your phone, your um, laptop, whatever you have, join us digitally and have an experience like you've never, ever had before. Right, so the exciting thing about this year's springboard is that it is the young people's show and oh, they're doing it their way yes definitely but we are bringing <laughs> one senior mentor and one keynote speaker give us an idea about about who's our senior mentor for this particular edition when you have the privilege of knowing the one and only lady whose um, experience spans the corporate world public service um, also has ministry and music. I think there's only one person who is so, ticks so many boxes, and that's the one and only Auntie Joyce. She just celebrated her 75th birthday, and so today I would like to wish Auntie Joyce again. Happy birthday, Auntie Joyce. And Thursday, we will have Auntie Joyce with us, you know, giving us a little peep into what it takes to maintain a life of significance for so long. 75 years of significance, I think I like your description, 75 years of significance that spans different 
areas of endeavor and it fits the theme for the year and i'm going to ask my guests very shortly to tell us why the theme is so important so i'll leave that for our guests to tell us from their yeah, perspective <laughs> but let's also tell us who the keynote speaker will our be our keynote for. speaker is um, the ceo of um, umb bank and mr Bene has also had quite an extensive um, career in the banking sector and for someone who understands what it takes to rise from the very beginning and get to the top who best to talk to us to let us know what are those things that we need what are those things that's those tools that we we as young people will need oh, yes, as we young oh yeah well, I'm, I'm forever young oh. don't right. don't ever deceive yourself all right so <laughs> So there you have it, our two resource persons, lead resource persons, the senior mentor or guest mentor for the event, Dr. Joyce Ayi, and our keynote speaker, Nana Jimo Bene, the CEO of UMB Bank. These are our keynote presenters or facilitators, but the great news is that they'll be hanging out with young people, both in person and online, who will be asking them tough questions and you can send your questions in advance if you think that the queue will be long but trust me send as many questions as you can i will be telling you how very shortly mm -hmm. how you can share your questions with us but let me bring on one of our partners and before that let me just start by acknowledging our longest serving partner on this journey Springboard is coming to you with the 15th edition and for 14 editions out of the 15, we've had the honor, the privilege, the blessing of working with MTN throughout this journey and they are significantly a part of bringing us to the place where Springboard is now a household word and some of my most significant experience across the world is traveling to places that I've never been before, sometimes even rural areas in Europe and finding somebody who knows about Springboard and can give me details about their Springboard experience. I suspect that my most significant one is in Ghana town in, 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 in Gambia, a very remote, small community in Gambia, going there um, in our tour of Banjul, and the people in that community recognizing us and, and mentioning Springboard, that was frightening and we thank MTN for the partnership the support over the years that has brought Springboard this far and they are on again as our principal partner and we'll be rolling out in the course of this week some very special interventions from MTN and they will carry you through Definitely. from the very first edition to the second edition of this quarterly virtual roadshow. Let me cross over to UMB Bank and greet Dr. Miles Hagan, who's the head of channels. He's a digital person in body, soul, and spirit. Miles, good to have you on the program. Thank you so much, Reverend. Great to be here. Congratulations on your becoming Dr. Miles Hagan. It's a dream come true, I believe. Yes, it is. I'm very humble. Thanks so much, Reverend. Miles, tell us why UMB is part of Springboard and how important this is to your bank. Thank you again, Reverend. I'll start off by saying UMB has a vision to be positioned as a leading Ghanaian bank and a leader in innovative banking solutions by 2024. We also intend to be a bank of choice for the youth and the use of innovation is a critical imperative to win more youth as key customers of the bank. Because of that, when the opportunity came last year, management looked at the partnership, it was very, very, very excellent. And this year, automatically, we have looked at doing the partnership to make it even bigger and better. And the partnership has not only been beneficial to our bank, but it has opened up opportunities to connect with more youth who are the future of our nation's growth and prosperity. So we are looking forward and we know the ultimate aim is to push financial inclusion. We also want to excite our existing customers and then win prospective customers through this partnership. And we look forward to doing a great thing with you. Miles, you mentioned financial inclusion and being the head of channels, I know it's in your blood. It's obvious that whilst it may have been a dream that we're all migrating to gradually, step by step, um, adopting digital as a means to an end, as it were, the 
COVID-19 pandemic has left us with absolutely no choice but to carry everyone on this journey. How big and how important is digital at this stage in our lives, Miles? Digital is very, very critical. And um, if you look at the institutions or even banks that were able to transition, it is those that were pushing for digital adoption. So although there was a need to switch from using their fiscal interfaces, having the digital instruments made transactions even more seamless. And if you look at the numbers, especially the high transacting um, institutions, banks, etc., you see our customers that were already early digital adopters were able to flow seamlessly. Um, certain institutions had to teach a few other customers, but so far it's been very good. For we in UMB, it's been very good. I want to sustain that momentum. Miles, let's go on to your own experience at Springboard. I, I, I can, in my mind's eye, picture you at various Springboard roadshow interventions. Let's focus on the roadshow in particular, in your case. Um, yes. Tell us your own enduring Springboard experience. I'll always say, I always look forward to these engagements because um, when I was younger, I had the opportunity of sitting in such uh, great panels, you listen to a lot of great uh, ideas, and I never imagined one day I also get the opportunity to also stand in front of a big audience and get to share my experiences. So for me, anytime I'm in, I'm in any of those sessions, I just remember the past and reflect on the future. I know that, yes, by God's grace, we've come this far, and I know the future is going to be brightest because of the great vision you and this is comfort to grant have pushed with the springboard innovation. In describing the reflecting on the past and situating the present and looking into the future, it was almost like you're talking about repositioning. Is that theme relevant or connected to the, the, the bank? It is, it is. And um, when I saw the team, I was most excited because the caption, reviewing the past, redesigning the present and reimagining the future. It synchronizes not only with our bank's vision and mission, but also our core values, which is speed. Speed, passion, excellence, ethics, and diligence. And if you look at all of them together, if you want to be repositioned, we believe you should have these tenets as a critical aspect of your life to make you more excellent. So definitely, we know all the discussions, all the sessions, or highlight these and more. And it will make anyone who comes, and I, I'm going to use this opportunity to say, don't miss it, because if you miss, you reflect a year to come and say, I missed a great opportunity. I'm going to come back to you, Miles, and when I come, I'm going to find, um, find out from you why you think virtual springboard is the way to go, and even more importantly, what uh, participants should expect from UMB Bank when they step virtually into the experience because this year the virtual is not just a watch you know you actually step into the experience so when they step in wow. what should they uh, expect let me cross yes. over to the woman who is always smiling when i when i grew up I, I, I want to smile and let my smile reflect in my voice like phyllis woodnati uh, group head of communications and synergies at the enterprise group phyllis thank you for making time to be with us at the launch of Springboard 2021. Well, it's always a pleasure. Phyllis, uh, the Enterprise Group has become a very uh, integral centerpiece of Springboard, not just the roadshow, but the virtual university, teampreneurship, and the festival of ideas. What drives your commitment to the course of the Springboard Roadshow Foundation? I was actually hoping you wouldn't ask me this question because uh, it's quite difficult to answer. None. And, and the reason is because there are so many reasons why we associate ourselves with Spring Board. Um, the program itself is so aligned with our values of professionalism, trust, friendliness, excellence, reliability. So first of all, as I said, we have a, a program, we are in complete alignment. So it's a no-brainer. And then when you look at the, the, what you actually deliver, you look at the quality of the program, the relevance of the topics, the knowledge displayed, you know, and how long you've been in. I mean, in this current world of fast food, fast internet, to be able to 
keep the attention of your target audience. You are in the 15th um, um, edition right now. The ability, uh, and that is not something that we take for granted. The quality of the audience, the people who are, these are people who are looking to improve themselves. They are descending listeners. Then you look at the quality of the participants, the panelists and the resource persons, always top notch. So when you have a program that aligns with your values, aligns with your direction, and then delivers the right audience, really, uh, um, the discussion is, is very short, very simple. We are with Springboard because you deliver what we are looking for. I am fascinated by the, the values you mentioned, and definitely when you talk about alignment with professionalism, excellence, trust, and reliability, it's almost like you are in here at the Springboard House, just reiterating what we live, eat, sleep, and dream. But Phyllis, something you said caught my attention. You said 15 years of consecutively doing the same thing and staying relevant. I'm talking to a company that has been there for decades. Is it 90 years? 96 all right, so what in the light of 15 and over 90 years of doing the same thing and staying relevant, how would the theme of repositioning fit into this conversation and this relationship? Well, it's, it's, it's so on point. I don't even know where to start from. You know, um, from the marketing point of view, when we talk about repositioning, we usually mean to target a new or a wider market, and it occurs generally as a result of changes in the environment. We, call, we can all attest to the changes that have occurred in the environment, especially over the last few months. We have been forced to rethink the way we do everything. So this theme of repositioning is absolutely spot on. In enterprise, we have been forced to reposition ourselves as well. You know, think of ourselves um, less as a traditional company and more about a digital a company that is more about digital enablement, both internally for our staff and externally for our clients. So you see that we've, we've actually outdoored a number of digital tools right now. We have our mobile app, we have our USSD uh, platforms. Basically, and it's all in line with the theme of repositioning, you know, sitting back, reviewing what you've done, and then adapting to the current environment before moving forward. So congratulations. I think it's uh, an absolutely inspired theme, theme that you chose. So good job. Phyllis, before I, 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 I swing to Franklin and come back to you, I'm tempted to choose your favorite springboard experience for you and i'm very biased i wouldn't deny it comfort is asking where i'm being that I, I i have experience of you at the festival of ideas i have experience of you in all our interventions but the one that i'm going to choose is one that many people may not even know about because it was not one of those advertised out there events but phyllis one thing that gives me the biggest pride is your participation in our public speaking training session do you remember that from years ago? <laughs> Absolutely, yes, I remember. Even then, you were a star in the, in the class, and for us as Springboard, we just watched you rise to become a group head of communication with a deep sense of pride in, in, in who you have become, and I accept our congratulations for that as well. That is Phyllis Woodnate, group head of communication and synergies at the Enterprise Group. Let me cross over to the graphic communications group. Some of you have been matriculating on Tuesdays instead of on Sundays because you <laughs> like to read. Yeah. So you join us digitally uh, in the graphic online or the graphic news app and then also join us in the graphic business on page 18 every Tuesday for almost three years now thereabouts or, or, or more. Oh. I have on the line the head of group head of marketing from the graphic communications group, Franklin Sewer, our brother, Franklin Sewer. Franklin, thanks for joining us on your virtual university. Thank you very much, Rev. Uh, it's, it's a delight to be here. And we thank God for this unique platform that has become a solid connection, connection point for the youth and inspiring a number of us that the, the, the sky is the limit if we remain focused and we do whatever we hear, we watch, we read, and we allow that to impact our lives. Thank you. Thank you very much. Frankly, you, are, you represent a, a, 
a certain cohort of people in management now who have benefited from Springboard both as participants and now as resource persons. Armed with that unique experience of both worlds, years ago as a participant and then going on to now become um, a resource person and a facilitator, how unique is Springboard for the benefit of those who may not have ever participated? Thank you, Rev. I think that the, my relationship with Springboard is a very interesting one. Like you rightly said, um, as a participant, as somebody who was part of the team, I remember in my past life as a staff of MTN, when we had to do the first reviews and True. evaluation and all those things. <laughs> and we happened to then be participants as well as sponsors at the time. Yeah. And all the lessons we picked for me is just preparation for opportunity. That is how I put it. Because it helped us to pick up learnings that today remain part of us. Uh, in, in fact, yesterday I was having a conversation with somebody and I told the person that we see in this life, one of the first things we might pursue is relationship. Because steadily you're realizing that the young people coming in are becoming extremely transactional in everything we do. Everything. Everybody's focused on a shortcut to get something and move on. But relationships with your good self, uh, Mrs. Okran, and the platform, and so many other relationships we've had and enjoy benefits up to today, is as a result of good partnerships, good relationships we built. And the value these things add to us as a people, even as a participant, even as a sponsor or a partner or whatever, it's because of the learnings we picked up. Because at least if for nothing at all, we learned that if you are able to build a relationship today, it transforms into a certain partnership that gives you a guarantee into the future. That partnership potentially converts people to be advocates of what you stand for and represent. And this also gives an opportunity for people who might have heard your name, might have heard your voice, but may not necessarily know you to even speak for who you are or who you represent just because of platforms like this. Because you share in a platform that is showing certain core values that is consistent with specific actions you need to take from a business perspective, social life, personal life, and all that. So I must say that this is a very unique platform that ensures the holistic development of an individual. Frankly, you make, you make such key points that it has ended your chapter in the book on Springboard that will be writing one of these days. I think you must write out of the chapters, but the point about relationships, let me, let me rewind a bit and to say that one of the features of this year's Springboard virtual experience, what we call Youth Voices, we've been compiling amazing testimonies and if you try to infuse them all into one show, the show won't happen. There'll be too much to explore and celebrate. But as a sample of some of the things that have been happening, we'll be featuring youth voices, people who came to the Rose Show, inquisitive, learning, asking questions, telling us what exact show they attended, who spoke, what they learned, what they did with the learnings and where it has brought them. And the point you made about relationship is one of the things that will come out from the youth voices that we'll be sharing about the power of networks and somebody who attended an event in Kumasi. At the event, he was more interested in the shirt I was wearing. But fortunately, he made time to ask a few questions about communication and actually interacted with the then resource person on communication from the multimedia group then, that was Kojo Opong Nkrumah, and asked a lot of questions about communication and even took a picture with him. So guess what? Kojo has now gone on to become Minister of Information and this young man has gone on to become the Public Relations Officer of a leading football club in this country. And he shares the experience with such pride because it's almost like synergy and networking. Franklin, how do these stories make you feel? Like I mentioned earlier, Rev, these, these are the stories you need to hear yeah. to ignite hope in our people yeah. that, listen, 
we need to be inspired. Yeah. It is still possible. Yeah. Just apply your minds to the knowledge that is available. And it's giving free of charge. For me, that is another thing. It's virtually free of charge. So all you need to do is to connect, pick up something, and apply it daily to your life. Because it's, 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 a, it's a life transforming platform. It's a value add platform. And you just don't need to, to miss it. You just need to make it part of your life have that kind of shadow that Sunday evening I'm connected, Tuesday I'm connected, Friday I'm connected, and following now that is virtual. It means that at every point in time you could you have can. something online. And we are doing everything in this digital space, social media space and all that. So there will always be something useful, something beneficial that you can pick up and apply to your life to make you a better person daily. And that deliberate effort to be a better person tomorrow than that you, you, you find yourself or found yourself today is what we need into the future so that we can let everybody know that if, I suppose, the sky will even not be the limit because we can do so much. It gives you social collateral, it gives you net worth that is uncommon. And for me, I, I believe strongly that uh, um, this, this eventually should be like a national call to order. Because you look at our nation and you realize that we are getting to a point where if these values, if these essential um, things are not part of our development as a people, we will get to a point where everybody will do what they like and it becomes normal. Business will suffer. Uh, uh, even the church will suffer. I mean, everything else will not. I mean, this will fall apart in the center. Will not. So it's important hold. that platforms that give us these unique values, we treasure them and we make them a necessity of our, our social build-up and our, our, our growth and development as a people. This is Springboard of Virtual University, and the voice you just heard is the voice of Franklin Sua, Group Head of Marketing at the Graphic Communications Group. We've had a privilege, come for tonight this evening, of hearing from three of our sponsors, Springboard Roadshow, and by extension, the Springboard Virtual Investing Experience, and the whole of our interventions for the year 2021 are proudly brought to you by the Springboard Roadshow Foundation and sponsored by MTN, MTN Pulse, Just B, UMB Bank, UMB Speed Up, Digibank, Let's Go, the Enterprise Group, Enterprise Your Advantage, with media support from the Multimedia Group, and the graphic communications group. When I come back from this break, I'm going to be asking our guests one key thing they hope every young person will take away from the virtual experience. Why the virtual experience has an advantage over the in-person experience and most importantly, what their brands are offering to participants this year. But come forth. Three very, very interesting perspectives my biggest takeaway is that all three are wearing three cups yes they are <laughs> as participants as, as sponsor former. resource they've transitioned yes yes so they've been participants before yeah they they are sponsors or facilitators of the project exactly and they also are resource persons they yes. understand springboard three and three they could actually suck us and take over <laughs> and be for us Yes. That's my big learning. What, yeah. what, what will be yours? Well, I like the fact that the uh, theme repositioning resonated so well with not just the individual but the brands that are on board this year. I mean, and for um, and and that talks about how we were able to capture the relevance or the the the, the needs of our society as we move forward in this era that we are in. It's going to be interesting to hear what they think each one should carry away. Franklin has yeah. given a hint that he yes. thinks it is about networks. Yeah. I think that's big. Yeah. That's big. And the point about being individualistic is quite a threat to it the is. future. You went to boarding school with so many classmates <laughs> and you're always on your old school network doing one thing or another. Or laughing at each other. <laughs> How important is this professional life? I, I don't know where springboard or legacy and legacy would be 
without partners, without people that you 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 can say, um, do you have an opportunity or can can you tell me where I can I can get a particular door open or how I can get a particular thing? And I know that I call on people every single day in different facets of life, finding out, and it's, a, it's possible because these networks are there. And these networks, some of them has, has spanned over 40 years. And it's not that we sit down every day to talk, but the fact that we know that I have you and I can, I can, I can call on you every now and then when the need arises and vice versa. And so it's from having a relationship from, from, with, from the lowest person in an organization or in any place to the highest person and being able to know what it takes to nurture those relationships. Okay. And and that 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 is, is 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 not is not is not something that is taken in just a day or something that you you call on and say okay take no it's not it's not it's not transactional it's, it's not, not transactional it's not uh, no it's, it's it's nurtured. Let me cross over to the entertainment part of of Thursday's experience. Yes. I mean, I know learning can be fun and spring it in springboard be. we make learning fun. It should but always be fun. Let's <laughs> find out what we have for entertainment on Thursday. Well, on, for, for Thursday, we've been privileged to join, be joined by Six Strings. And um, he, would, he would give us a very enthralling um, performance. And then a young lady that, when she speaks, I, I kind of want to go back and say, how did she do it, Benuma? She's a spoken word artist. And um, when she does her crafts, you just have to admire the way she comes across. You know, two people come to my mind when I think oh. about Benima. Okay. One old, one young. Yes. I think about Amanda Gorman and how she took America by storm yes. during the presidential inauguration. Yes. But I think even more about Maya Angelou. Oh. Soft spoken, but she will get you. Oh, she will get you. You know what? Let, let, me give you, let me give you a sneak preview into our two performers. On, on Thursday, I'm going to give you one minute of six strings and one minute of Benima. When I come back, let me ask my guests, what should people expect on Thursday? Let's cross over to first Benima and then six strings. My poetry spans every, everything in my life. We stand in a triangle, three black stars on the 6th of March. We all lurch to our left, your right. We all lurch as the train lurches. You both step off, and I am the only black star left. Life is a mystery that has remained unsolved over many centuries. It goes on, life goes on. Life is a mystery that has remained unsolved over many centuries. It goes on, life goes on. Life is a mystery that has remained unsolved over many centuries. It goes on, life goes on. Hi, this is Albert and I have some great news for you. Here is one more way to matriculate and graduate every single week. Your favorite inspirational program, Springboard Your Virtual University, now airs on Joy Prime on your multi TV and DSTV channel 281 every single week. Join us this and every Friday from 5 p.m. till 6 p.m. as we explore different subjects under our theme for the year, Repositioning. Springboard Your Virtual University will therefore now be on Joy FM, Facebook, and YouTube every Sunday at 7 p.m. and on Joy Prime from 5 p.m. till 6 p.m. every Friday. Springboard is brought to you by the Springboard Ratio Foundation in partnership with the Multimedia Group and proudly sponsored by NTN, UMB Bank, the enterprise group with support from the graphic business. Springboard, your personal values will shoot up. There once was a man who had it all. Ski.
skill. He had charisma. He was loved by all, but above all, he knew the importance of helping others, lifting others up. He knew the importance of giving other people an advantage so that they too would use that advantage to help others. All you need is that advantage that sets you apart from the rest. And when you discover that advantage, life's challenges don't seem so daunting anymore. That's where we come in. Enterprise, your advantage. Don't be left out. Download the Pulse app from the App Store or Play Store to mash up all day, every day. You can also enjoy more mashup. Just buy the new Mega Bundle and get 3 gigabytes data, extra 400 megabytes for your social apps, and free MTN to MTN calls every Monday. So go ahead, feel the pulse on MTN Pulse. Just be we're good together. Everywhere you go. UMB was established in 1972 as the premier bank for the corporate and private sector in Ghana. From our very beginning, as the only Ghanaian bank serving all categories of businesses, we set a standard for excellence and innovation over the past 45 years. We've built a financially healthy and strong bank, demonstrated our commitment to our customers and to growing businesses, and exhibited originality and innovation at every turn. At UMB, our focus is built around people, service, products and technology. These are the key to our present success and our future triumphs. At UMB, we are poised to make a difference not only with our customers, but also in the banking industry. We invite you to share in our future. Our future starts now with you. Welcome back. This is Springboard of Virtual University today launching the 2021 Springboard Roadshow and I'm very excited and Comfort and I are just humbled by our partnership with MTN, UMB Bank, the Enterprise Group, Multimedia Group and the Graphic Communications Group. Today we have here with us um, Phyllis Woodnate, Group Head of Communications and Synergy at the Enterprise Group. Dr. Miles Hagan, who is the head of channels at UMB Bank, and Franklin Sowa, the group head of marketing at the Graphic Communications Group. Phyllis, as somebody who is so much a part of Springboard, what would you want each participant to carry away as a benefit from joining us for Springboard Roadshow, the virtual experience? So first of all, I have to align myself with the statement that Franklin made about networking, and they, which was also reiterated uh, by your good self. I think it's so, so relevant. And you, you need to understand the value and the worth of networking and how it can really, you know, transform your life. It's so important. Now, back to the question that you asked. If you ask me what I expect each person to pick away, I think virtual springboard in itself is a lesson. It's a lesson about resilience, it's a lesson about adaptation, it's a lesson about making um, adversity work for you. Because for a program that has been structured in a certain way for 14 editions, to be able to pivot and turn things around, and right now that we are on a virtual uh, platform, you have removed the barrier of distance and space and even time because it's recorded you can listen to it again and so that is one lesson that everyone needs to walk away with virtual springboard is a whole teaching moment by itself and adding to that you know enterprise we always try and add a little something to spice up the whole program which is wonderfully put together already by springboard but just a little something that i want to add this whole um era is right up, it's now about digital transformation and to be able to be digital transformed you need a digital tool you need a mobile phone you need a laptop and so one of the things that we are bringing to the table enterprise this time 
is contributing to the wow moment, which is that of a, a laptop, some lucky person, just for listening in, just for participating, asking a few questions, is going to walk away with a beautiful, fully spec laptop that uh, will help you on your road to the digital transformation. And we are very, very proud um, about that. Um, the last time we did that, I remember that it opened a door for a beautiful relationship. The, the gentleman, one of the people who, who won the laptops from um, the previous encounters that we had, mm -hmm. we have gone ahead and had, we have established a relationship with that person. Um, we don't have their permission, so I don't want to go into details or mention their names, but we've had opportunity to impact on this life in many other ways since that encounter. So, um, you know, tune in, turn up. There's no way you're going to be any worse off. You will definitely come away with something great. Phyllis, this is the probably the biggest advert for the virtual springboard. The fact that a young person turns up a springboard with no idea what they would encounter and do not just win a laptop, but a relationship with one of Ghana's biggest leading companies. And that relationship can only bode well for that young person, whoever that young person is, whose permission we don't have to mention their name, but we are <laughs> definitely sharing their joy. And thank you for the laptop. And I am convinced that it is not just for this first, this first edition, but it's for all four. Absolutely. In the name I of the Lord. A certain bed, a certain bed whispered to me that in the third edition, since the CEO of Enterprise is speaking as a keynote speaker, there will be there will be some Something added more. incentive. True or false? <laughs> On some bed, but it is true. <laughs> <laughs> bears are good. It's good to have bears flying near to, near your ears. I want to say a big thank you to you, Phyllis Woodnati, for for bringing your thoughts to bear to bear on this. Let me cross over to Dr. Miles Hagan. What would you like to see a young person carry away from the experience at Springboard Virtual this year? Thank you, Reverend Albert. I'll call it dynamism. dynamism. They should expect impactful, insightful, and innovative discussions. They should also expect a lot of great knowledge and insights. And um, overall, transitioning from fiscal to virtual, I believe shows the level of dynamism Springboard has uh, embraced with time. And I believe even UMB being there, they would see that yes, UMB not only cares, I would love to anticipate we like to meet customers' needs and expectations, and that shows how dynamic we are as a very strong indigenous bank. So that's one takeaway for all who will come and all who will connect. Miles, I believe that you will definitely be featuring in the wow moment in as life. well. Definitely, definitely. And uh, for us, like I said, it's also going to be dynamic. So there will be a lot of dynamite in the time of uh, gifts, the giveaways, and everything is going to be exciting. Because once you'll be hearing from our CEO, not only is he going to share his life experience, but will make everything, especially the wow moment, more than impactful. And I believe everyone will look out for it and say, yes, UMB has come. And indeed, UMB has done something more innovative this time. You know what? I, I, my only regret about the wow moment is that I'm disqualified from participating. But I, I, I forgive all of you. <laughs> <laughs> for the rules that bar us as organizers from participating. But it's exciting to bring such value to the young people. Let me cross over to Franklin. Franklin, what would you like to see five years from now, ten years from now, when you meet somebody who says they were at the first virtual springboard experience? Thank you very much, Rev. And I believe uh, Phyllis and Miles have said it all. Um, this platform is a very dynamic platform. It's a platform that has some kind of active and consistent engagement and positively driving inspiration in the youth. And so we would expect that we'll have a much more inspired youth, much more focused youth, a much more structured lifestyle of our people, a much more informed people and by being informed means that we also have a, a mindset that is quite 
uh, active and would always want to figure out what, what, what can we do better? What can we do differently? How do we make life more bearable for others and, and that kind of thing? And indeed, the virtual area, that is the new world order. That is the value that coronavirus has brought to all of us. And the digital migration is real. I remember some few years ago when my past life, we were talking about the bold new digital world. Everybody was like, hey, but what is this? But today it has become an everyday life thing. Yeah. So the opportunity that this virtual world offers is enormous. And this means that Springboard, though it is a global thing, it is now even more accessible to the entire world. Yeah. Because as far as you can go digital, you are on board. And indeed, the brand I represent, which is the Graphic Communications Group, is a brand that hasn't been oblivious of this fact. We have been known to print hard copy for how many years now? As we speak now, we are venturing strongly into the digital, digital space. Yeah. We have the Graphic Class, which is hosting all our publications on an app. It's just a matter of going on Google Play Store. If you are using iOS, your App Store, just download Graphic News Plus and you access all our publications. The full publication you buy on the newsstand is available on wow. Graphic News too. And indeed, it appeals to the young, young, young folk who are the core targets. It appeals to entrepreneurs. It appeals to people who belong to the decision making unit of corporates, chieftains mm -hmm. of the industry. It's convenient. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, around this time that the physical meetings and moving out and all that, restrictions and all that. It's even more exciting to sit in the comfort of your home office and access information at the click of your for button on your phone. Yes. And we are making this live, and it is in sync with what Springboard stands for. So we are excited to be part of it. The digital integration has come to stay with us, and we, we are hopeful that it will give more knowledge to our people. It will bring knowledge, make knowledge more accessible. Yeah. And a lot more people will benefit from the value this brings. Of course, we would want to give a certain kind of experience weekly on Graphic News Plus. So okay. every week, the most active person on the digital platform will have a month subscription free of Graphic News Plus will give you access to all our brands, daily graphic, graphic business, the mirror, showbiz, graphics, or junior graphic. We believe that the more information we give to our people, the better our people become because they are more informed and not just informed, but informed quality content, which is critical. And that will add to the value we will bring this year. On the wow moment, I'm sure that there will be a lot more goodies. I mean, 70 years and counting, we record. So the Heritage brand will come up with things that will speak to what we represent and ignite hope in the young ones that listen with the right attitude, reading the right material, listening to the right content, participating in the right programs, and leveraging all relevant connection points it builds you up as a person. Remember that brands thrive on being relevant, being dynamic, and operating in sync with the expectations of both existing and potential uh, target audience members. And as far as this platform offers that, as far as graphic communications group, there are product portfolios, we are meeting these expectations, then the brand will be a solid brand the products will continue to grow, the impact will still be strong, and the relevance of our positions in trade will continually impact our people. So we're looking forward to a very good and exciting time. We believe that there will be added value to the lives of our people than they encountered this platform. And thank surely it will going to be an exciting time we're looking forward to. Thank you very much. Definitely very exciting. And thank you, Franklin Sua, Group Head of Marketing at the Graphic Communications Group. So a big thank you to you, Franklin. A big thank you to you, Phyllis. And a big thank you to you, Miles. So for you out there, just take time to download the MTN Pulse app. Download the UMB Speed app. Download the Enterprise Advantage app. And of course, the Graphic 
yes. graphic news plus app and my joy online Get all these apps because we'll be trending and we'll be streaming on all our partner channels as we make this great experience on Thursday available to you. And one more thing that I would like to add, especially in the light of what Franklin said about matriculating on Sunday, matriculating on Tuesday, matriculating on Friday, just to remind you that the event is from 10 a.m. till 12 noon this Thursday, the 8th of April. And there will be a restream at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So that if you did not get to watch it at the time that it was streamed originally, you can watch it at that time and from then onwards at any time of your convenience. And that is the power of digital. Living it when you want it, how you want it, where you want it, but still living it all the same. Comfort. As we go, how can people engage even starting now with the virtual university, but even more importantly, how can they engage in the build-up to and during the Roadshow 2021, the virtual experience? Everywhere you are, do, do this, the, the hashtag Springboard RS. Definitely, we know that you, your social media handles, let people know because we are coming on Thursday between 10 to 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Um, use the social media handles um, Comfort Okran A, Albert Okran NE, or Springboard Iris. Any of those social medias, hashtag us and drive the hype. That is one of the things that would make the program very interesting. And I, for the wow moments, I don't know if you, you heard, because I definitely know that I would love a laptop. I know that the graphic um, business plus app it's, it's really good because then you have information at your fingertips unb speed app you you know never have a problem with that and then definitely enterprise group your insurance needs are all taken care of springboard 2021 which looks at repositioning reviewing the past redesigning your present and then, re and the then definitely reimagining yeah. your future to find out what you want to find out about the road show, the number is plus two three three two four nine 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 five 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 or plus two three three two four nine 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 zero zero zero. These two hotlines will be the springboard official hotlines for the road show. For those who don't like the plus two three three, let me say zero two four nine 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 five 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 or zero two four nine 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 zero zero zero. And just if you're outside Ghana, add the country code and send us your questions about the roadshow, your questions for the roadshow, your inquiries about participation, and just be part of this experience. The hashtag once again Springboard RS or Springboard 2021. These two hashtags will be your hashtags. You can send your questions now. You can start and just post and say, I will be there. Springboard 2021 or Springboard RS. And we will know that you will be there and look out for you. My name is Albert Okran. And I want to say a big thank you to, once again to Franklin Soa. I want to say thank you to Miles Hagan. And of course, to Phyllis Woodnati for spending this hour with us. And to all our partners and sponsors out there for enabling this amazing experience. Special thanks to the Multimedia Group for creating this platform for us to connect with you. And one thing is certain, this Thursday, an amazing journey begins, or an amazing dimension of this journey begins, and the world will never be the same again. Thank you, Comfort, for hanging out and for making this possible. Thank you for having me. You right. know, it's, I mean, it's always, I'm always behind the scenes. And today, it's almost like I'm today you are in front place. of the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so we come your way on Thursday. And again, next Sunday with big highlights of what happened on Thursday. My name is Albert Okran, representing the entire team Springboard and saying, God bless you. God bless you. And, and God, God bless, bless you. you.